What is up, guys? Bet Records back here again with another FanDuel lineup video. Uh, we made it to week four. Uh, you know that we're pumping these videos out. Cole has stood by my side the whole way throughout this journey. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this Thursday night team and jump right into this video here. Uh, so, Cole, we're going to ask you first here, what are your initial kind of thoughts about this game, Jacksonville versus uh, the Bengals here? How do you think... You know, who do you think is going to be on top right away initially? And uh, kind of you think it's going to be a shootout, a lot of running? Uh, what are your first initial thoughts here? Well, it's not like either team is really that great. But right. <laughs> I think Joe Burrow in general will probably take – is definitely going to have a better name day than Trevor Lawrence. Is The Bengals' defense honestly hasn't even been that terrible. So – I don't really see Trevor Lawrence, who's struggled these last two weeks in general, to really come up with a lot against the Bengals. So I guess I'd say it would be more of a running game on their part. So probably James sure. Robinson. I think Joe Burrow can definitely throw against a Jacksonville defense. Yep. Probably not yeah. even get an inter interception this week. That would be awesome, huh? That that might be stretching it though. I feel like <laughs> I was gonna I look because I feel like he's gotten a turnover in every game. Yeah, he is. Let me see. Yeah, hey, he did. Uh, he did okay last week though. But <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think Bengals will win. But yeah, that's definitely why I have one in this game as well. Um, so I kind of agree with you with the running game for this one, especially you know, Cincinnati's side, um, I, with Joe Mixon, I mean, he's been a beast so far this whole year. James Robinson, I believe had like 25 fantasy points this past week. Finally, he performed yeah, pretty decent, like didn't he? Yeah. He had two touchdowns um, and like 130 yards or something. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I definitely saw I got, uh, past that 20 mark this, uh, week three, uh, Cole, what do you, who do you think we should pick for our MVP spot? Um, do we go ahead and, uh, you know, do a quarterback, or do you think it's going to be more of a running game here? I mean, I'd say more of a running game in general. So I'd honestly probably put in Joe Mixon because I don't think the Jacksonville defense is going to be able to really stop him, especially if they give him a crap load of refs. I mean, you know, yep. touches and everything. So I'd probably go Joe Mixon. If not him, then I'd go Joe Burrow. All right, let's go ahead and slide and mix into this first MVP spot here. Um, I did notice for FanDuel this Thursday night game for week four, they do have this pro spot as well. So let's put Joe Burrow in that 1.5 time spot there uh, just to kind of double up in that offense. We think uh, Cincinnati is definitely going to be scoring a lot more than Jacksonville will just in general here. Um, we got 8,000 per player remaining here. Do we – I I, I – I was not on the chase bandwagon to start off the season. I thought Higgins was going to be all over the ball here. Um, There's a lot of good training camp hype from Higgins and not so much with chase initially throughout the preseason this year uh, with T Higgins out though. However, uh, coming into week four, do, do you think we have to take Jamar chase or do we try and uh, squeeze in James Robinson and kind of see if we can make it work with one of those two higher price guys? I mean, Jamar, you, you really don't like Jamar Chase. He's been killing it since he started the. I know. Um, I, I wasn't season. on the train to begin with after the preseason lackluster, to, per se. Uh, now I'm uh, I'm kind of turning the page a little bit. So, but. I like Jamar Chase, honestly. It would give us a. We could even go Tyler Boyd because Boyd has Good. been to the offense and he's pretty dependable i mean last week he got over i think it was like 13 points or something yeah yep yeah almost 12 points last week 11 the week before and that's with all three of those wide receivers there so he'd be the number two guy this week for sure yeah i'd um, and he's cheaper so yeah i guess i'd probably yeah. try to stack boyd with it just take a chance on that one yeah no i actually really like that as well i definitely agree with that now that we kind of talked that through there um, looks like 7,800 left. Let's maybe take a peek at a cheaper guy and we'll kind of see if, you know, engage what we have remaining here. Cause I don't mind Marvin Jones. DJ Chark is kind of, you know, kind of all over the place in his week per 
performances, 16, 10, and 12. Whereas Marvin Jones has been getting at least 10, if not close to 20 every week here. Um, so let's just kind of look at some of the cheaper guys. Um, Cole, let's, let's start with you for this one, and then I'll snag the next guy. Do we look towards one of these kickers here maybe, or do you want me to keep going down for maybe one of these tight ends? Uh, I think we got to pick someone above Arnold. I think after this, it's pretty Yeah, ugly. you can't do anything else. Nah, no, no. I wouldn't pick anything under Arnold for sure right so, now. Could go I don't really like that pick either. Chenault's interesting. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning of the year, they thought he was going to be awesome. No, he hasn't, he hasn't really proven himself at all. Yeah, he, he got 10 points week almost week one. Uh, that looks like he kind of fell off against Denver there, but they are a good defense, looks like, against the passing game. Plus his targets have been average. going down consistently, though. Yeah, no, that's a good catch as well. Um, I, I agree that if we don't have to grab him, let's not. Where are you leaning for this next pick here? I mean, honestly, I think if we took Joe Burrow out, which is the most expensive, we get a lot better picks. Yeah. I if we get them. Okay. I just want to click on him because I don't believe he's hit over 20 points this season yet. Okay, no, nope. he has not. So, and 18 points is still a lot per week here. Uh, but he's got to throw the ball for, to someone, you know, and both sides do. Especially Jacksonville is going to have to be running, or I should say throwing this ball at the end of it. I think James Robinson has a lot of upside the first half. After that, he's going to just be known for some dump off plays, you know, throughout that second yeah. half if they're trailing like we think here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take that Joe Burrow off then here. Do you want to do you want to take a chance and put Tyler Boyd up in that 1.5 times spot to get uh, some more bang for our buck there and see if uh, you know he doesn't get us a lot of points? Or do you think we, we could, or we could stick Jamar in Chase into that spot now that we have more money and take out Tyler Boyd, and then probably right. add James Robinson because he has a decent. Yeah, I, let's see how much money we have left with Jamar Chase and Robinson instead of Boyd. Okay. I'm going to put Robinson in this other uh, uh, multiplier point spot here as well just because I do like the running game on both sides there. I think that James Robinson can still be used uh, as that dump off back. Looks like Cincinnati isn't very good against the run either, so... I think this is going to be a big running game, honestly. But looks like we got about 8,000 per these next three players here remaining. We're going to have to pick. <laughs> we're going to have to pick one of these garbage dudes. Um, let me let me just take a look at uh, both of these guys. Looks like he's gotten seven points max, four targets per game yeah. about. <sighs> Since Who's they, the both teams. Worried. Yeah, I was going to say, both teams just don't throw their tight ends. I mean, he's got two targets per game, about looks like, as well there. Um, so if we don't have to pick one of those guys, let's not. <laughs> let's see how much the kickers have. Yeah, look at kickers. Oh, this guy's got six targets. Week. Yeah, but he's yeah, only last one week. week. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, Cincinnati kicker here, 8,500. Lambo, I mean, I so feel like if the out. Jaguars are going to get anywhere, they're going to get close enough to the end zone, so it would be a kick. So I'd maybe go with the kicker for Jacksonville, honestly. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm But what's thinking. his problem? Who's going to be the backup? Will not play on Thursday. Matthew Wright. We can't even they pick him up, dude. Been here. Nope. Well. Nope. Well, we can't do that. So if he's in your lineups when he becomes active, go ahead and snag him. I kind of agree with you, um, you know, initially. I, th I think in the first half it'll be pretty close of a game just because the defenses aren't strong on either side. Um, yeah. So either way, Jacksonville is just going to want to kick a field goal just to keep up, you know, when it goes into the end of the game there. Um, let's go ahead and snag Boyd again, just because I do like getting both of those wide receivers for Cincinnati as well. No, I do agree with that. We are we just have to take a shitty player. I know. I'd take Arnold, honestly. We can't have both them. We can't have both running backs for on our team. 
I you know, I just was looking at Lisa attempts. Looks like eight attempts last week, but still. Yeah, I think we do I have think to we just have to go with the honor gnome. Yeah. So it looks like we got a thousand dollars extra here, Cole. Um, is there any I wanted to see if maybe we could snag someone else in here just because that's a lot of cash just kind of sitting out there dead. Um doesn't look like we can get anyone except for maybe a DJ Shark or no, we can't even get Marvin Jones. So um, I mean, we I could think... take DJ Shark over the Cincinnati kicker. Right. At least that way we have somebody who's semi reliable on the Jacksonville, on Jacksonville side of as well. James, Henry, James Robinson, yeah. 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 No, I definitely don't mind that at all. Um, so then that way we got both the running backs on each side. We do have technically two wide receivers on each side. Darnold is that uh, tight end, however, though. Uh, hopefully Cincinnati, you know, kind of focuses more on Marvin Jones as well as, you know, maybe DJ Chark kind of single them out. Maybe gets Darnold open for us in the end zone here. Uh, Cole, do you want to go ahead and uh, summary it up here and uh, lead us off for this episode here? Sure. We got Joe Mixon, the Cincinnati running back, and James Robinson, the Jacksonville Robin ba running back. We have both of really the only wide receivers in Cincinnati and James Jamar Chase and Tyler Boyd. And we've got EJ Chark for Jacksonville and then – a tight end that we're just hoping does something in Jacksonville and Arnold. Yep. Yep. That is the lineup for this week here. Um, you know, we're just going to take a chance with one of those tight ends. You just got to at that price point at that point. Um, the Thursday night games are always harder. Um, and I feel like we've realized that whole after the past two weeks, it's like, God, these ones yeah. just kind of suck. <laughs> especially when it's two like shit yeah. teams, especially like last week. Um, but, however, um, if you guys do want to look at some full lineups that are coming for this week as well, make sure to follow us on Instagram as well as our YouTube page. We always have two lineups a week, one for Thursday as well as one for Sunday night. Um, so make sure you follow up with us. Thanks, Cole, as always, for joining me here again today. And we will see you guys next time. Peace out. Later.